and we had a good laugh about it but it was a very embarrassed moment cuz i had like <laughs> meet up just <laughs> chutney spilling out and i was being a complete klutz at punjab sweet house um but like i feel like the my favorite kind of compliments are those when someone says you are exactly like your videos I feel like everything that we are today is kind of sewn into that childhood mm -hmm. and i feel like your story is is like i why am i not surprised with who you are today because i feel like that anam who is 12 13 who has the same amount of confidence same amount of opinion same amount of articulation is just here in front of me right um to to now being one of the top creators couple of thoughts and questions here how do you show up your authentic self year on year for this long like how and and how do you build this community which which loves you so authentically you know one thing i'm uh, not good at is when it comes to aggressive strategy mm -hmm. i can do strategy when it comes to numbers and business on the verified front with my brand but as a creator i think because i fell into it so organically mm -hmm. i've made mistakes i've hopefully learned from my mistakes i can never over strategize that side of me and sometimes i'll have a partner manager at one of the platforms say do this this and i'm like but that doesn't feel very me mm -hmm. i know it'll get the numbers i know it but it doesn't feel it may be on brand and it may be great but it's not intuitively calling out to mm. me you know what i mean yeah. so i feel like while it works for me that i've stayed authentic and i've stayed myself there are very many people who may have worked with me over the past 12 years who will say she needs to do more strategy because i i don't want to plan and don't want to not plan in a sense like i don't plan i'm very planned and i'm very structured and anyone who's worked with me will attest to that but i don't want to over and very strategy. professional i must say <laughs> thank you uh but i i just i just i feel like the minute you start orchestrating who you are you're creating a character and i don't think it's possible to live like a character because then you will there's two types of creators and both are right in their fair place those that have online personality and have in real life personality and then those where you keep the two characters so in sync with one another that when someone meets you offline it's the same energy yeah to me when i started getting started bumping into people you know when that starts happening mm. to you somewhere mm. when you're people you start getting noticed yeah. at malls or on the street or when you're having chat with pani puri in your mouth that has happened to me once <laughs> it was very embarrassing um what was the what's the first thing to do swallow it or acknowledge i was like <laughs> <laughs> that's what i did and they understood and we had a good laugh about it but it was a very embarrassed moment cuz i had yeah. like <laughs> meet up just chutney <laughs> spilling out and i was being a complete klutz at punjab sweet house um but like i feel like the my favorite kind of compliments are those when someone says you are exactly like your videos oh that is, i love that, that is that's a, you know that i've actually posted about that when actually people say that it's the best compliment that you've ever ever received nothing better than that Guys, why do I feel like I've met my twin sister <laughs> on this podcast? We probably have. We found each other. <laughs> For parenting tips, celebrity interviews, recipes, conversations with experts, DIYs, and lots more. Subscribe to Kids Stop Press now.